Good evening, welcome to my channel. It is the 28th of March and it's time to set up for April in my Bujo. Now, what I've done is I've already filmed it and I'm gonna hyperlapse it and then I'm gonna watch it with you and talk you through it. Like I did, I think on a weekly setup not that long ago. Okay, sorry for the weird angle on the camera, but I'm actually, um, my son started streaming again and he's stolen one of the cameras back. So um, it was either this or my Mac and the Mac one just looked really, really weird. So what we're gonna do is I am just gonna get that ready. And um, yeah, it won't take long at all. It's about 10 minutes worth. So uh, yeah, enjoy. So um, I will admit, right out, I stole this idea from Miss McKenna. I watched her April setup the other day and I was going to do April showers anyway. And I loved her cover page so, so much that yeah, I stole it. Yeah, sue me. Um, I, I changed it slightly. She put her umbrella under April and I thought that was a bit weird that it really the the umbrella should be shading the April so that's what I decided to do and um, I did a similar font to her uh, mainly because I'm a bit bored of doing the same old fonts over and over again and I hope this is playing because my screen's frozen for fuck's sake <laughs> there we go oh, it's now moving again oh look I'm already painting so yeah I drew everything in and um then I just basically pulled out the watercolours and I went for it. Um, most of these are Jane Davenport watercolours. And um, yeah, I just laid them down and, and there you go. That was it really. I usually tend to do two coats of watercolour, which you may, you may have noticed, simply because it makes the colour um, less streaky looking. Yeah. Um, I pulled my heat gun out a lot to um while doing all of this mainly because um i didn't want to wait <laughs> i just i really didn't want to wait and then at first i was going to do as as elise did i was going to just do like little highlights of the clouds and then i decided i didn't like that so i colored the whole thing in um, this paint is called blue lagoon and i got it in a subscription from eclectic scribbles it's a sparkly pale blue color <laughs> And then I decided I was going to try and blend the uh, the two colours in the letters. I'm not 100% in love with it, but um, it, it'll do. It'll do. It'll do, pig. It'll do. Now I'm onto my square tracker. Um, this one is... Um, I used to do this over two pages. Now I only do it over the one. And I do... The, the lines you see me drawing in now, which are all of the spokes if you like all of the spokes and all of the uh horizontal and vertical lines except for the outside and the most diagonal ones were done in a small pit eyes pen and then i did the outermost one the bolder ones in an m pit eyes pen okay um mainly because using a ruler knackers the pens um, I'm quite heavy handed as well with my pens so but I like how this looks it looks really really effective um, then what I did was I did a cloud and a title across the top and I listed my um, you know my doohickeys things that I'm tracking <laughs> down below um there is an empty spot because it really depends on whether i do a doodle challenge or not because that's what usually goes in that empty spot um on the other page this page here that i'm doing now this is my instagram tracker um what i do here is i list all the things that i want to so that i upload at least once a day to instagram um the leftmost column is the spread is ready the middle column is that the um spread has been photographed and then the right hand column is that i've uploaded it to instagram and so far every month i haven't kept i haven't kept up with it at all i've been doing it for three or four months now um and i got this idea off of jashi corin and um yeah uh, i i no, i haven't kept up with it it's been handy to do it because i'm finding that i am getting a lot more interaction when i upload regularly 
but um yeah i just things happen and i just don't get it done so there we go so here i am again with my boulder pen the m size one drawing in the outline and then i decided to go without a ruler it actually worked out quite well but then they, they were only like six boxes wide <laughs> yeah now we're doing the card of the day spread um on this on this spread basically the idea is again i don't do this every day even though i've tracked to um i pull a tarot card every day and i tell you or you know i write down what what's going to happen um originally i was going to do it in the morning but i don't tend to sit at my journal in the morning i tend to sit at my journal at night so what i started doing this month was pulling a card for the next day and uh, yeah i haven't 100 percent cut out that either but there you go um, here I am trying in with the blending again. I either had too much water or not enough or not enough colour or was, oh, this wound me right up all this blending shit. I really wish I hadn't bothered and I just left it black and white really but I don't know. It, it looks all right I think. Yeah. And then again I was I was gonna I, I planned to do a lot of this freehand because you know you see all these other people do it and they're freehand and I'm like, I just can't do it I just can't do it if the lines aren't perfect it would piss me right off it really would this is my favorite track I, I love drawing this one mainly because my little fat woman cracks me up um she's just she's just adorable I just think she's hysterical I found this image on Google um, yeah I stole this one too yeah I'm a thief I don't care um I got I can't even remember what I typed in to find it and uh, I've adapted her to have dreads and I try to give her different colour clothing every every month and the idea is is what I do um, on the first of each month is I take my measurements and um, I take measurements from my upper arm, my stomach, my hips and bum and around my thighs and that I record that and my weight each month and it's been really depressing because it's, it's, it's not going down even though I've not had chocolate, can you believe I've not had chocolate for ages because of this blooming lockdown so I ended up using so much of this glitter paint doing these spreads really did I started out with almost a full pan and I've, I've probably used a good quarter of it but again I laid it down quite thick because you know I, I like to see it so yes I gave my lady grey dreads because you know grey dreads um, I'll have to decorate them next month because I'm a bit of a magpie and my dreads have got you know quite a lot of stuff in there I, I put this color down I went oh shit it's really orangey <laughs> so I kept using water to try and pick it up and uh, she looks a bit <laughs> oh well never mind I also kept put, resting my hand in wet paint every single time I moved I rested my hand in wet paint I got so fed up with myself after a bit I love this colour purple. This is such a cool colour. Then I remembered I hadn't done her legs and I was like, for crying out loud. And then just finish her off. Draw a pair of scales and I record my weight on that. I sometimes record Daryl's weight on it as well. Um, the top one is my mood tracker and it goes from shit to awesome. And the bottom was my pain and that goes from nope to agony and it usually tends to um the pain one especially uh hover up near agony more than it does anything else and my mood yeah, probably you know two-thirds of the way up to awesome because I'm, I'm not usually a grumpy person now it's my sleep and my steps tracker this one i do fill out every single day of the month um, mainly because I'm in a Fitbit challenge where you bet on yourself and the idea is is that you bet on yourself to gain a certain amount of steps every day uh, or six days out of the week and also one of the things that I promised myself is that I would try and reach my step goal every single day of this year because I'm doing 2020 miles in 2020 and I've been doing this for you know, I did 2018 miles and 2019 miles and I failed in both of them. And I'm absolutely determined that I'm going to do it now this year. And so far, I'm actually ahead of what I should be because I've worked it out. It should be five and a half miles every day. Um, and I'm actually I'm actually like ahead on myself. So there's only one day where I didn't do it. And that's the day where I went, got my dreads redone. 
so but that's a very very simple tracker all i do is i record the hours that i sleep how well i think i slept and then how many steps i got easy peasy lemon squeezy <coughs> excuse me um now i am on to my chores tracker and this is the one that takes up all the time it really does um again on the inside lines i used a lighter pen I should be the s size again and then on the outside lines i used an m and then i just filled it all in I love watching watercolour in sort of fast motion. It, gets really, it just it looks awesome as it goes down on the paper. <laughs> it's like yeah, splish by splish. There you go. So the dates go across the top, and then I list my chores um, in, on on each row. Okay, so that box I'm doing now that's Monday, uh, that's Thursday because I go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and 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 then i just cross off or i color in the chores as i do them if you're interested in a printout of a plain one let me know um yeah and that's pretty much it and then i just did some fancy lettering because i hadn't actually done any you know any calligraphy at all <laughs> and i was like i need to do some so yeah i did it on this one And that was pretty much that was pretty much it. And then I thought, well, the bottom boxes look a bit bare now, so uh, I added in a few more clouds. <laughs> really? So there you go. And then I'm going to give you a, another look through. So yeah. Thank you so so much for joining me today i hope you uh found this informative or helpful or whatever even just interest mildly interesting to watch um a way to pass 10 to 12 minutes anyway um please feel free to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave us comments down below because we like comments and kisses and all of that rubbish um if you wish to subscribe you can click the book down in the bottom corner of your screen down 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 that way <laughs> And uh, it's, it's right down in the bottom, uh, as you look at it, the right hand corner of the video, of heaven's sake. If not, click the little icon that comes up over in, a, in a minute and you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell and click all, you'll then be notified every time I upload a new video. Take care. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.